spring 24 this has been such a hit you gals are loving seeing the pieces that you already have in your closet from past seasons brought forward into the current collection so we're just going to keep on rolling with it all right i'm going to start out with a couple easy ones first of all what is the name of this dress i can't remember the monarch dress anybody have this beauty in their closet that it would be fun to pull that out, um, the red out of this with the detour jacket. And it is absolutely the perfect match. Such a fun combination. I just, I love it. And I think the, the swingy silhouette of this jacket is going to um, fit that vibe so, so well. All right, next up, I've got our sunset kimono from a few springs ago. It was a limited arrival. Um, and I put that with the corsage top. I thought this was kind of fun. It's um, a little bit of a play on the tropical vibe here, plus a more muted version of the pink. And then because this kimono has got some volume to it, I wanted to pair it with a white skinny. So we're kind of keeping things slim on the bottom. Now, what I really think is lovely is our tempo top with this because the tempo top has got that gorgeous turquoise base the pink and orange in the print which is exactly the pink and orange in the print of the kimono and i just it's fun you guys it's fun and if we're not having fun with our clothes what are we even doing right so play with that i think that the print mixes work I can't wait to see what Amy's got for her vintage stuff. So F take it away, girl. And fun. That is right, Rebecca. I love it. Okay. I'm going to start with the top I'm wearing because I have these back to our Galaxy Cargo. And this is one of the most rare cabbie pieces. If you have it, you are lucky. And here is why. This top sunk to the bottom of the ocean in a shipping container. And so we were not allowed to sell it. So it's called the Happy Top. And guess what? Cabby had a little extra fabric or something. I can't even remember the story. But us as stylists, we were able to grab this piece. Now, mine is a medium. I wear a small, so it is on my sample cell coming up. But it's darling and it's vintage and very, very unique in the Cabby world because there's only so many that are out there. So really really fun little stories i think okay i am going with our ballroom jacket and the one and only boxy top so love 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 this gorgeous boxy top it's going to go great with white on white if you want to make it lighter but i decided to pull out the black caravan trouser from this season and make it sort of a fun and elegant look then i am going to show you the priscilla top with our um, gorgeous Doris cardigan from the new arrivals and our Ojai shorts from the new arrivals. I'm loving the white on white kind of Hampton chic vibe, but I wanted to pull in a little bit of that lilac from the Priscilla top. What I love about this is it really is a white background, but it's got that purple floral detail coming through. So if you love the idea of the white on white, but you don't wanna be solidly white, this little racer back Priscilla top is absolutely amazing. And it's just going to pull it all together. And the Doris cardigan gives you a little bit of sleeve coverage, but it's a very open um, weave cardigan. So if you did not get those from the new arrivals, they are still available. I would hurry up and get them. Use those hostess benefits. They do expire by June 30th this season. So make sure that you are utilizing all that hard work that you did to have a great cabby gathering. Um, and another little reminder, our sample cells will be launching at the end of June. So keep in touch because all these vintage pieces are more than likely on our sample cells as well. So if you're seeing combinations that you love, definitely reach out to us. If there's a piece I have that Rebecca doesn't have and vice versa, we can connect and work together for you on those. Um, but we are so excited that you're here with us each and every week. Stay tuned. This is the last um, 
little part three that we're doing. And next week, we're going to talk all about the 4th of July and our independence and so many more beautiful things inspired by that holiday. We are going to bring lots of gorgeous looks together. Stay tuned and see you